Hey guys, we're back with the Skeeter six month review. Everyone usually does reviews on boats. I've actually done one when I first got this boat, but I've had it for six months. So I kind of wanted to tell you all a little bit like what it's been like having one for six months, like my first impressions, things I liked, even maybe some things I didn't like or concerns or, or anything, just kind of an overall view. And like I go kind of over everything. So I'll get really detailed on certain things and it's kind of by preference. Uh, some of these things I just, I just really like you might not even find them important for me though there are things that are very important things that i just really thought that that was pretty cool how they did it and some of the stuff maybe i i didn't think i was gonna like at first and now i like but um we're gonna kind of go over everything guys um there's something in here there's gonna be one piece of information in here that i promise you i promise you i promise you might be the best advice i have for anyone ever buying a boat like ever i'm telling you this is my number one thing I look at when buying a boat. And so um, stay tuned for that. The driving part of the boat has been really, really easy. It's very simple. I've had a Skeeter before. This handle is way different. It's way bigger. I've loved it on rough water, loved it on rough water. If y'all, I'm gonna try to be honest with you. We've been in some pretty big waves this year. The last day on Rayburn of the last day of the Toyota, when we had a rain delay and storms come through, and some giant waves. I'll try to find some of that footage. I honestly didn't put it on there. This is what's bad, I can't make this up. I've been wanting to put this like crazy phenomenal footage of me driving in some like big giant waves. The problem is I'll go back and watch the footage and the, and the boat doesn't make the waves look that big. And the reason is, is because it handles it so well. And so like, in my head, I'm like, God, these are giant waves. And I heard a guy spearing stuff and getting wet and all these stuff. And then I see me and I'm just kind of easing on down along. And I'm like, well, it doesn't even look that bad. They're not going to believe that these are like four and five footers. So I don't put it on there. I'm waiting to see those like, I don't know what I'm looking for. Six, seven. I don't know what I'm looking for because like I, I want to put this footage on there. And I want you all to see how big it is. But then I show you the ride and it, it's almost going to look like it, it's fake or that it's not as big as I say it is. So I don't know what to tell y'all, man. It's it, like, I love driving this thing in rough water. I will say this, there has been some stuff, some guys talk about porpoising and stuff when you drive this thing. Yes, it'll porpoise if you intentionally almost make it porpoise. So basically if you go really, really slow like 30 miles an hour, which I never drive 30 on this thing. No one ever drives 30 on a planed out boat. I mean, it's usually around 40 to 45, but if you go real slow, it'll start to kind of porpoise if you don't do anything. Guys, it's real simple. Get your, get your jack plate, right? I got the Atlas jack plate from TH Marine. And, and if you can see where it's at, even right now, all you do is hike that thing all the way up to the top and trim it down with your trim and it'll instantly take it out it, it won't let it porpoise um like i said uh, guys sometimes just have to drive a boat if they complain about certain things it's a lot of times with a lot of these boats it's it's not about the boat it's about the guy driving it so if you don't want to stop it from porpoising just make your jack plate go all the way up trim it all the way down at 30 miles an hour if you ever just want to drive 30 and completely calm conditions it'll stop that. Other than that, at once you get out of like 30 miles an hour, it, it quits doing it. So that's, an, that's one of those issues that, that I, I figured I'd bring it up because I've heard about it. I just didn't realize it was that big of an issue um, that you could just, it's just easily fixed. So anyways, other than that, like I said, trailer. Hey man, I've had a lot of issues with trailers, man. Um, over the years, a lot of issues. Uh, they wear tires out differently. The axles get bent. All kinds of stuff with trailers. And golly, they make you mad. And the reason the trailers make me mad, they separate the trailer from the boat a lot of times. Okay? And what that means is, is that like, it's not that they don't warranty it, but it comes from a different fact. And I don't know. It's been, it's just been an, a nightmare sometimes dealing with trailers 
and the issues and this is not fun but so far this trailer has been been perfect i haven't had any issues out of the trailer my tires aren't all wearing uh man it's a trailer guys you should be able to drive this thing for 10 years and put a ridiculous amount of mo miles on this and never almost have to change your tires or, or tread so if your tread or anything is going out on your tires it is a trailer issue not a tire issue i've never seen it be a tire issue my tires are look all freaking awesome i mean i have a ton of tread on them they look normal nothing wrong with my bearings i mean bearing bearings and stuff like that going out that's the thing in the past that that should almost never happen with the way they make trailers nowadays so guys that's it and if you want more guys just go watch a lot of my videos i mean i'm in this thing in almost every fishing video you can see how it fishes i get through stuff i still have you know, videos of me driving it, things like that. Dude's been awesome. Dude's been awesome. Oh, man. Let's talk about the Yamaha. Where do I begin with the Yamaha? Let's see. I would show y'all how to take the cowling off, but I don't know how. And the reason I don't know how is the cowling hasn't come off of this thing since I've owned it. I think I've got 90 hours on it. It's kind of a joke that I don't know how to take it off, but, but I'll be honest with you, it has not come off. It has not had an issue out of it. Here's the deal with this Yamaha. This is why I love this thing so much. I had a lot of issues last year. Y'all know, if y'all been paying attention to me, I borrowed a lot of boats last year. Um, I had to borrow a boat with a Yamaha last year. It, Yamaha's been great. I mean, not a not a hiccup, not a, not a anything. Like, not a anything. Oh my gosh. It, it's been so nice to be in a boat with like zero, zero, issues for the most part and zero i mean none out of the motor the yamaha has been great here's the one thing i love about the yamaha and i noticed it the other day when i was at the lake they were a boat was putting in and i was just listening and i can hear it right it was really calm it was a really nice day and people were starting their boats and they were leaving and i could tell you like oh that's the old mercury or that's the new mercury or, mm, that's, or that's a evan Ru like i can hear sometimes how old a motor is won't sound the same like when you bought it right like you can it, it, they sound different anyone that knows knows what i'm talking about right like there's a different sound to it and that thing sounds just like the first day i bought it like it's just got that different hum to it man and uh it's been really good so but but here's the one thing i'm going to say about all boats all right this is the big kicker this is this is the most important thing to me when buying a boat. See this boat right here? It's been great to me. It has. Now, will every Skeeter be perfect? No. No. Will every Yamaha, could it break down? Absolutely. 100%. They all will. Every single boat, every single motor out there can break down. So, if it can, what's important to you? I've found over the years that there's one thing that, that never lets me down. Boats can let me down. Motors can let me down. I mean, they're going to. If you've owned enough of them, they're going to let you down eventually. People, on the other hand, sometimes people, if you find the right ones, they never let you down. I always tell everyone, if you really want to buy a boat, make sure you've got a dealer. And I'm being... I'm being hey this is the best advice i could ever give to someone getting a boat man a dealer will do wonders for you if you have a great dealer that takes care of you when things break down they try to help you fix it they order stuff for you on in a timely manner they don't you don't just show up to their place and like hey i'll have your boat back in like two months no a great dealer is 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 to be honest with you kind of hard to find um i've got one with fred with diamond sports so man i just i i just can't stress this enough guys um sometimes buying a boat is is a hundred percent based on your dealer so make sure you find a good dealer and they don't have to be close listen fred from diamond sports is not that close to me like i have to drive a little ways to go to go to him but it's well worth the drive i will take the drive because i know i'm gonna get what I can out of that guy. That guy's gonna do everything in his power to get me back on the water. So that's a very, very, very important to me. I said his relationship with Skeeter and Yamaha is like superb. So like, 
if this had to go back to the factory, if any of those things went down, I call Fred up, boom, taken care of. So to me, that is a big, big deal. I, I, I can't stress it enough, guys. Really look into who your dealer is when you're gonna buy a boat. We'll either love your boat or hate your boat sometimes because of your dealer. Anyways, let's take a look at the old Skeeter. So just overall view of my Skeeter as of right now, like just like the outside of it. Man, love it, still pretty. It, it nothing, I haven't, I don't have a scratch on it. I know, I'm, I don't even know why I said that. I shouldn't have ever said that. Let's just like nix that. It's like bad knock on wood stuff, man. But it's true. So I still don't have a scratch on it, nothing. My Minn Kota, it's good. Like I, I haven't had an issue with it. Power poles, power poles are good. Let's hop on in. We can kind of start at the front. The front deck of this thing is really big. I talked earlier in other reviews about the rod straps about how many rods i could actually fit on there i haven't moved this like i thought i might i thought i might even move it further but i actually like it the way it is i can still get like at least eight rods in there set up right so i'm going to talk about some things look i haven't been in every boat i don't claim i have i've been in enough and then some of these are just sometimes of what i talk about are just reasons why i like this boat over boats in the past and it's little things but and i'll explain why it's important but like i said I, I have not been in every single boat so but maybe just take some of these when you're looking to go get a boat or or buy a boat or these things kind of matter in in my opinion so i do like the front deck of my boat okay there is a lot of space i still have two graphs here but i still have room to stand up here okay so that's important when getting on and off my boat skeeter trailers come with these two steps so i can literally i can literally just step down look and no hands you know and, and get down with no hands like so having that space right here with a little pad is important this right here I had tilt and trim stuff up here where it's not an actual button okay where it's other things where you have to like reach down here to do your trim i like this because i can use my foot to actually do it so i don't actually have to bend down i know it's little stuff but man i'm telling you i i, I don't know y'all guys get it anytime you're fishing shallow you forget to trim it up so i like to do it with my foot where i'm not having to bend down there and wait on it to trim up so it has this tray I'm not a, I'm not a guy who's ever had a bunch of stuff up here in the front, so I actually have never used this tray. It actually looks pretty good, and I and I probably could use it. I, I just don't. So I, I don't know what to tell you all about that. Never had to. Let's see my locker bar. Don't have an issue with my locker bar. I love the locker bar. I recommend the locker bar for everyone. TH Marines got them. They're awesome. I don't even know what's in my rod box. Can't show that, I don't wanna show that bait. So, uh, right now, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got 11 rods in here. Uh, I was a little worried about how many rods I could fit in there just with traveling. I think I can get up to like 23 to 25 rods in there uh, with reels, okay? I'd probably get 100 of them without reels. But with reels, 23 to 25, um, I, I forget the count, uh, plenty. The front compartment, if y'all know me, y'all know I don't do anything fake. I don't do any of this, like prepare anything. This is what my middle console looks like right now. Um, I've been kind of taking in stuff in and out of here, so none of it's nice. Uh, I, I do have to rearrange how I've had to use stuff. It has compartments like this to where you can actually go with individual stuff. It has two of these, okay? These come in and come out. If you wanna go look at one of my reviews that I did right off the bat, you can see it. I took one of these out. That way I can put these bigger ones in here like this. And um, I've kinda of learned how to stack them in the back. They are not stacked right now, but you can stack them. 
Bass Mafia stuff on the sides. I can usually put that on this side, put that in there. I can usually put that in there. And so I know it comes with the net. I've actually never had to use the net. I do like the net being in there because um, I've, over the years, I can't tell you how many times I've, I don't keep a net in my boat very much, almost never, except in a tournament that allows them. So the net's cool. If I ever forget, or if someone needs to borrow one, it, someone loses one, uh, or if I'm out there and I catch something kind of stupid, crazy, and I actually might need the net. So these are pretty basic stuff. They all look the same. This one, I do love more. Quite a few money bags in here. I keep my throw cushion, my light. These things from Bass Mafia, I have loved. I keep some, some bigger, more boxes in here. My fire extinguishers down there. So I've got reels in here. I've got a lot of stuff in this one. That compartment has been, like I said, it's bigger, it's deeper than any other boat I've ever had. I can keep more stuff in there, which I love. I'm a guy who I'm not worried about having a light boat. So I, I actually, I fill it up like crazy. This is my little dry compartment. I keep glue in here right now, a random Picasso. Man, I mean, what is what in the world do I have this? Oh, I have it in there for that blade. I usually keep all my keys and wallet and everything in here. The reason I do this is so far, it never gets wet in there. There's two compartments and I've had boats, man. And look, every compartment gets a little bit wet and a little whatever. This compartment right here and this compartment right here. And if you see, I got sunglasses and some, man, I don't even know what's in there, right? But these two compartments never, never get wet. Like I said, I've almost had every boat, some compartments, some stay pretty dry, others don't. Um, the ones in the back, I will say, stay completely, completely dry. Those two compartments always stay dry. I've never had, had water in them, so I can keep a lot of, you know, your valuable stuff, you know, your wallet. They're pretty secure. I feel pretty safe with that. That's my trash bin. I'm not opening it up. For, there's no reason. My cooler, golly, my cooler, man. My cooler has been a lifesaver being where it is. Um, I love the seat right here that makes into a cooler. Uh, this is actually a pretty comfortable seat. I've sat there before. I've actually never sat in my boat on the passenger side and let someone drive it yet. Just hadn't happened uh, other than teach my kid how to drive. But we haven't got on plane yet where he's actually the only one driving. He, he can't reach the hot foot. So, but this seat's actually pretty comfortable for a middle seat a lot of them are not that comfortable this actually is and we actually use it a lot surprisingly we do have more than two people a lot either whether it be family or whatever else but the cooler right here i've had coolers in different spots by far the best place in my opinion to have a cooler is right here in the summer months and in the stuff like that like it, it just forces you to drink more because it's easier it's right there i don't have to get up every time is if you have a cooler right here or anything anywhere right here or behind you man it's just i don't know what it is it's just it's just a pain and i hate having to get up to get something to drink get something to eat it, it's just a lot easier having it right here my control panels and everything right here. Everything's been really good. Everything's been really easy to get to. I have had to replace this and it was just because one of these things went out and it only took uh, two days. I got, I got one and they overnighted one and I actually replaced it myself because it was really, really, really easy. I do love having my control panels of this is for my for the drain plug it's out right now i mean that's as easy as it gets for opening and closing your drain plug same thing with your live wells open and close to let water in and out the charging system i do like the charging system over here i didn't know if i was going to like it if i wanted it in the back it actually doesn't um get in my way as much so i do like that so far everything else has been has been great i mean oh my bass boat technologies 
and guys, I'm not I'm not sponsored by Bass Boat Technologies, but I did like the this and the way it's set up. It hasn't gotten loose here. It's easy to get to. I have had one of these before, and I didn't like it on my old boat, and I kind of blamed the Bass Boat Technologies because of that but really what happens was it was more the console's fault now that i have a different console with this bracket it's easy because before i could never actually put my hands back here like it was a pain to undo these like you couldn't even get to them now it's super easy i mean it's very easy to get back here there's a lot more room you might want to talk to someone before you get some of those mounts because i think certain boats that um, they react different to certain mounts. Okay, well, you know, if their console is different, some of the mounts might, yeah, they'll work, but they become a pain to get to. All right, compartments back here. Here's the deal with the compartments on the Skeeter. For some of the boats I've had, and I can only go off the two or three boats I've been around a whole bunch, they're bigger and they're deeper. I'd rather actually want them to be deeper than wider um, you're rarely going to get something that's that much wider, but the deeper stuff, man, I can stack stuff on top. For whatever reason with our boats, um, if anything I really need that's really long or big, I can put in that one. But for everything else, it's just stuff. It's either more fishing equipment, so it's more like boxes of lures, life jackets, things like that. They almost, all that kind of stuff, that, that other stuff fits in those compartments um, width-wise. You just need more of it. So the depth of it is what I really like. This little thing, love this little tray. It fits right here. Love it, love it, love it. Um, it's where I keep those. And I also keep, so when I do that, that comes off. I hate going to my truck. People steal them. Boom. Put it right back there close it it's good to go i mean it makes it guys i know it's little stuff but it is it's the little stuff i love like the convenience of things i mean that's that's what i want i want everything to be really really convenient really really easy i mean it's not bad six months i mean pretty darn clean you can see no oil anywhere no know anything back here i mean this is probably as clean as i've ever had a boat after six months i don't know what else to say like i, I haven't had an issue the, the one thing i'll say too is this trailer love the trailer if i talked about the trailer earlier there are things i love there's a step 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 I can get in this boat from this trailer almost from front to back. It happens on the other side as well. I've had trailers that like look, look, they're supposed to look really nice and they're a pain trying to get into it, you know, like anywhere you want. Cause I'm always hopping in and out of my boat from all different kind of places. So love that. I, I know that's a quick, simple review of, of the boat. But, but man, it's been really, really good to me. I really enjoyed fishing out of it. Y'all have seen me all year long. As of right now, old Skeeter hanging in there. Anyways, hope you like this, guys. See y'all.